How are you out there? In this edition of Drums of Change, the newly elected president, African Organization for Standardization and DG Standards Organization of Nigeria, son, Dr. Joseph Ikem Odumodu, condemns the way Nigerians worship God. He was talking to the press after a family Thanksgiving at the Catholic Church of Presentation, Ikeja, Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. Details much later in this program. Next will be Government in Action. Uh, this is a segment that assesses the achievements of state governments in the Southeast. Today we shall continue with government intervention in the educational sector. All right, stay tuned as we go and break. Wow, that's that. Yes, of course. One day I'll be great just like that. Yes, my charm. Grandpa, how did that become great? With the help of Fidelity Bank, they always make people's dreams come true. Can't sit down? They support farming, construction, business, factories. Wow, cool. And they always keep their word. Always, always, Grandpa. Always, my dear. Now they can help me launch my rocket. Great for supporting people and the economy. Fidelity Bank PLC. We're Fidelity. We keep our word. Silence! Malaria, your days are numbered. I hereby order that you be reminded in Lonald's custody. Malaria on dog, Papuka, Malaria on dog, Papuka. True talk, Malaria don't Papuka with Lonald. But you must be able to identify your original loaner drug. Now, with mobile authentication service, you can confirm if your loaner drug is genuine. Simply scratch the back panel attached to your pack to reveal set of unique numbers. Text the numbers on the scratch panel to 38353. Receive an instant SMS reply confirming the authenticity of the loaner drug. SMS text is free. And available to all networks. Ensure you send the text to 38353 at the point of purchase to confirm the lunar drug is genuine. Available now on lunar DS packs only. Report fake Lunat to NAFDAQ immediately with number displayed on your phone. Lunat, effective ACT for malaria treatment, is marketed by Green Life Pharmaceuticals. Welcome back. Dr. Joseph Ikem Odmodu. DG, Standards Organization of Nigeria, and President, African Organization for Standardization, and members of his family, attended a Thanksgiving service last week at the Catholic Church of Presentation, Ikeja, Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. And you know what? Friends and way wishers from far and near grace that occasion. Let me take you to the Catholic Church of Presentation in Keja, Lagos, for eyewitness account.
after this Thanksgiving service, Dr. and Mrs. Ikem Odmodu entertained the guests. <laughs> Later, Dr. Ikem Odmodu explained why he organized the Thanksgiving. One of them is the fact that it is also a family Thanksgiving period for my church. So when we use the opportunity to also combine a lot of things that, that happened to us in recent times. Indeed, one of them is also my appointment as DG of SON. Some people may say it came late, but I wanted to be sure that I was on the job before thanking God and then getting off the job. So that's why I also decided to waste time and thank God. But also, some of my children graduated uh, from the various universities, you know, last month. And I felt it was a thing of joy also to thank God. But most importantly, is the fact that my family, we are, I have six children with my wife, and we're still together, healthy, and um, I believe the greatest thank to God is that we are one happy family, healthy, and looking into the future with a lot of hope. What do you think about the worship of God in Nigeria? If you ask me about how we worship in Nigeria, I actually feel very strongly that we all pretend we all pretend to worship God in Nigeria. You know, look at us in Nigeria. Look at how well or badly we have done. Look at a country like China. China does not even believe in God. And I can tell you, in the last 20 years, China has brought out over 500 million people out of poverty. So, I don't think, if you ask me, Nigerians are not worshipping God. We mouth it that we worship God. But you know, God has given us a free will. God cannot put the right traits in us. We have to have the right traits built from parenthood. And that's what can change society. Not about claims about worshipping God and all that. And I think that's, that's one thing that I must also pass on to you know, I have seen situations where people leave church and they are fighting with each other at the gate on who should drive out first. I mean, this is clearly an issue of did they worship God? If they did, why would they be fighting so soon afterwards? Can you claim to be your... This is Odumodu also commented about the Thanksgiving. So much cause to celebrate. Um, today, my family had their 2013 Harvest Thanksgiving in church. But um, I, as I told my husband, it's beyond just that for me. Because um, this year I had, to, I had two children graduate from university. So I think that is one very big cause to celebrate. You know, they all came back in one piece. They did not derail. They are all healthy. And... Um, you talk of harvest, I think that is part of my harvest. So I have cause to give glory to God for his goodness, his kindness, his provisions, his protection for my husband especially, knowing the kind of work that he does. So I am grateful to God. So we are celebrating and thanking God. That's why we call people to join us in thanking God today. Madam, what can you tell us about your husband? He's my friend. And uh, my, my children, you, you know they are big now. When they want to speak to me and tell me something about daddy, they will tell me, mommy, your boyfriend said. So that sums it up. He is my friend. And when you have a friend, you give in 120% of what you have. And it's give and take. It's the same way 
that he does to me as well. I couldn't have had some, somebody better. Other distinguished personalities at the event also talked about Dr. Ikem Odmodo's approach to life and work. This is, this is somebody that is reliable. He's a responsible person, a reliable friend, a dependable friend, and also that had really gone down with the children the way he brought them up. The children are very humble and very obedient and very intelligent. Yes. Very delighted to be here with our DG, Mr. Standards, who has lifted us on up to level of recognition, even internationally. So we are very happy to be here with him and the family. He came into SON and he met SON at the point that we needed um, a leadership that should bring the organization together. And that is exactly what he's, he's tried to do. He has restructured it in a way that putting the right pegs in the right places, round one in round places, square ones in square places, and he has built a structure of an organization. And the hierarchy has been rightly put in place. What he has tried to do is that he wants to leave the organization a better place than he met it. So we are here and we are supporting that vision. Well, that has been an eyewitness account of a Thanksgiving service organized by Dr. Joseph Ikem Odomodu and family, which took place in faraway Lagos. Stay tuned as we go on break. Silence! Malaria, your days are numbered. I hereby order that you be reminded in Lonald's custody. Malaria on Dong Pafuka, Malaria on Dong Pafuka. True talk, Malaria Dong Pafuka with Lonard. But you must be able to identify your original loaner drug. Now, with mobile authentication service, you can confirm if your loaner drug is genuine. Simply scratch the back panel attached to your pack to reveal a set of unique numbers. Text the numbers on the scratch panel to 38353. Receive an instant SMS reply confirming the authenticity of the loaner drug. SMS text is free and available to all networks. Ensure you send the text to 38353 at the point of purchase to confirm the lunar drug is genuine. Available now on lunar DS packs only. Report fake Lonat to NAFDAQ immediately with number displayed on your phone. Lonat, effective ACT for malaria treatment, is marketed by Green Life Pharmaceuticals. In this segment, Government National segment, we showcase the achievements of various state governments in Southeast geopolitical zone. And today we shall continue with government inter intervention in the educational sector. As I said last week, two state governments, Anambra and Imo, top the list of performing states in the Southeast geopolitical zone, as far as provision of facilities in primary and secondary schools is concerned. In Imo State, for example, government is building new modern schools and equipping them. And in Anambra State, government has gone a little bit further by offering substantial financial assistance to various schools. Some of the schools Governor Peter B visited and offered this special financial assistance where our Lady Secondary School, Nobi, and St. Joseph's Secondary School, Okretiti. Let's go over to eyewitness account. This is one of those schools that returned back to you and we're glad at the improvement in the school. And at our commitment, the government will continue to support the school, support the effort in turn around our educational system and in the continuation of that, and the construction of this hostel, that we're here to complete our com commitment for the year 2012 to enable us commence our support for 2013. So we're here to give the last check of what we promised in 2012, which we have doing this, to hand over to you as the appropriate one of the school, additional check of 10 million naira. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. 
and see to the welfare of our children. Working hard to build a good future and a better future for them. Working hard to restore the dignity of the human person by assisting us in the school system so that the character formation of the students will be optimal. With the character formation achieved, the academic excellence will be a thing of the past because they will be disciplined enough to study hard, assimilate properly, have a healthy competition, and compete favorably. God bless you. Amen. Bless all your worthy endeavors. Amen. Your Excellency. Okay. Uh, Governor Peter B. also distributed mosquito nets to students in the school. One of the things we are doing to help prevention of the scourge of malaria is to distribute nets. And we are doing so in every school. All borders is entitled to one of these. And not just all borders. I think we should actually say we put in their teachers because if their teachers are not well, then they won't come and teach them. They won't go to school. So it has to include those who work to help them. So we start the distribution by giving the price to the senior preference. Good the other side. Good the other side. you are and that brings us to the end of this week's program. My name is Rafael Zemwaji. Bye-bye. God bless you.